High Vinyl community and Merry Christmas. I hope everybody had a great holiday. Uh, I'm back this time with uh, a few days off from work actually to do a video that you really don't see very much in the vinyl community anymore. And over the, um, the years, it's actually been uh, a favorite type of video of mine, and that is the room tour video. I have yet to do one, so I thought I would take the opportunity now and over the next few minutes uh, show you my small but uh, humble music listening space. Um, just a brief history on the room and the home itself. Um, the home was built in 1979. My wife and I and our kids are the second owners in the home. This uh, will be the 20th year that we've been here. This particular room is in the basement of the home. It was a workroom by the previous owner. So there are a couple of aspects uh, about the old workroom that I've left in contact and I'll explain those uh, in a little bit for you. Uh, this is a very small room. It's about 12 feet by 12 feet. So uh, let's get started. Uh, what you're looking at here is one of the shelves that you see in the uh, background of um, my videos, or at least the last uh, dozen or so. Um, briefly just show you the albums. You're probably wondering, maybe some of you, what they are. Um, these one, two, three cubbies and half here is my Elvis collection. These are uh, Christmas records. And moving up across the top here, the top two are jazz. Down below is uh, soundtracks, classical, ECM. And over here, that's sort of a uh, mixed bag of everything from electronic to kraut rock. Um, there's nothing really uh, structured in terms of genres with that. It's just a familiar cubby of mine, um, ones that I go to and listen to quite a bit. Um, so I just know they're there. And uh, yeah, my go-to cubby, if you will. And down below here, uh, these are Frank Sinatra. And then I'm into uh, some blues here. And over on this side, it's uh, pretty much just a collection of uh, male and female vocal, country, um, smaller type uh, genres uh, in there. Um, in the corner here beside uh, my Rolling Stone CDs. And moving down on the bottom here, um, let's go right to left. Um, there are CD and vinyl box sets in that cubby. Uh, over here, um, Batman movies, TV shows, the first couple of seasons, uh, and some hockey books. And over on this side here is just a variety of uh, music books, coffee table type books. Um, and the last two there, so a couple of um, bins. Uh, the bin on the right is pretty much A to Z um 45s and over here those are all my elvis 45s and eps and moving up on top here you've uh, seen these in my videos these are uh, just some framed jackets that i have and going across the top some hard rock uh, pilsner glasses uh, over here some music dvds and behind here as well Oh, there's some uh, Star Wars and some uh, movie sets, indie, Lord of the Rings. I like to collect um, first edition stamps. This is actually a um, uh, a catalog or uh, an album, if you will, where I keep this. I'm not sure if anybody collects stamps or uh, first day issues. Maybe one day I'll do a video for those that might be interested. Over here, a couple of CD towers. These are both four-sided. You can see, obviously, one is taller than the other, um, but they revolve, so it makes it nice and easy to select, and it keeps them up and out of the way. Smaller tower in the corner there um, does the same thing. Uh, a bit of a Star Wars nut. That was a gift of my, uh, from my youngest daughter a few years ago for Christmas. And the only door in and out of the room. And over here on this side is the uh, other uh, record shelving unit um, that you see in my videos as well. 
and housed in there are essentially the A to Z of everything else. Up on top here, I've got some books. That's a, I think it's called the Jam Poster. They have a volume two and maybe even three as well. I've got some cars, uh, Beatles VHS anthology set for when it came out. Mick Jagger um, figurine my wife gave me. Um, this is a, in the back there, a Batman comic. Um, as you can see from the first uh, case, I had some DVDs and movies. I'm a bit of a Batman and Star Wars geek. So that's my birth issue. That um, issue of Batman came up the month that I was born. And just some figurines and some Lego stuff, Batman and, and Star Wars. Uh, Batman up there. Star Wars uh, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi albums framed. For those of you uh, that have been watching my videos over time, you'll know the Rolling Stones are my favorite band. That's a framed poster I had uh, from when I saw them in 2005. And now for the first of the two walls that really you haven't seen. This is uh, the desk where I sit to do my videos and of course enjoy all of yours. Uh, my system. I got a freezer over here in the corner. Of course, there's nowhere else in the house that it can go. Um, just quickly uh, going down the components. On the top there, my turntable is a Project um, uh, Debut Carbon turntable. And all the remaining components are Yamaha going down 5-disc uh, CD player. Dual cassette deck, EQ, and receiver. Uh, cassette um, case on the floor. And just up over my desk here are some old cassettes that I still have, still on the wall. Um, some mixed cassettes, store-bought and cassettes. Just above it here, I'll come in a little bit. Uh, this is a, um, a collage, uh, Elvis collage, that my wife had made for me for Christmas last year. Uh, some uh, Elvis little trinkets and some old calendars. Um, this button here and the pocket calendar here with the blue jumper. Uh, those were gifts from me from Ed. Uh, his channel is The King's Court. Hi, Ed. Um, I showed those in a video some time ago when he sent them. Uh, he also sent me that poster and the uh, Elvis the King bumper sticker. So I have those hanging and on display proudly in my room. Thanks again, Ed. Um, Rolling Stones sign there, clock. Um, got a bunch of CDs in the, uh, in the corner there. Uh, the speakers that I have, two of them um, on this uh, workbench here, they're Paradigm speakers. And I'll just take a couple of steps back here so you can see. Just going back, I uh, talked briefly at the beginning of the video about um, this being the work room in the home uh, before we moved in. This, as you can see, is the workbench here, and I've decided to leave it there. As you can see, it um, makes for excellent storage space uh, down below, two tiers there, or at least one tier plus the floor. And up on the top here uh, is really handy space um, for uh, record cleaning sleeving, cataloging, etc. So um, I left that bench there because it's really, really handy. Um, just zooming up a little bit here. On the right, you'll see a Bob Dylan framed poster and ticket from when I saw um, him in uh, Toronto Foo Fighters opened. Uh, they actually played two shows. I saw them both. And uh, some more CDs. Uh, this is a, uh, or at least the, the plaque board that you see up in the middle there is... Uh, a Rolling Stones poster that I had um, mounted on blackboard from their 2002-2003 uh, Licks World Tour. Um, some records here, you'll see some of these. These are um, recent finds and Christmas gifts that uh, I'll be getting to show you folks, so be patient. I hope to get uh, to those to show you. Um, these are just a couple of quick books I'm going to show you. Um, these were Christmas gifts. Uh, the first is Christmas at the Vinyl Cafe by Stuart McLean. Stuart McLean was a uh, Canadian writer. These are essentially a collection of short stories for 20 years or so. He did a Christmas tour around Canada. Um, so that was a 
gift from my wife for Christmas, as was this. As you can see, this is a rock covers, hardcover coffee table type book. And I think it's about 500 pages or so here. I'll just kind of go through and quickly show you. Lots of album covers, beautiful pictures, write up uh, and information about many of the, uh, the covers and the artists, um, who the photographers were, um, other works that they did. So some fascinating stuff in there. I really look uh, forward to, uh, to reading that. That was also a Christmas gift from my wife. But uh, moving along here, um, some more CDs. Uh, this row here is essentially Elvis Legacy and Bob Dylan Bootleg Series. Uh, the next row over, Beatles Anthology and Grateful Dead stuff. Uh, and then the last two stacks there and there, those are my Christmas CDs. Panning up into the corner here, another Bob Dylan uh, tour poster from when I saw him in Buffalo. Merle Haggard and Amos Lee opened for that show. And just looking at the corner here, uh, the other speaker, I've got them at either end of the workbench. And up on top, uh, TV. Just a small thing that I like to uh, watch in here while I'm listening to some music. I've got the uh, Slovakia-Canada Junior World Hockey game on right now. Canada's winning for nothing. That's good. And there's a picture of me up there. And then right back to square one. So just stepping to the middle of the room here, I will quickly do a 360 for you one last time. And there you go. Thanks for watching, folks. I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. Please leave a comment. If there's anything you saw or had any questions about in this video, I'd be happy to answer them. I hope you all have a safe and prosperous 2018. Thanks for watching. Bye, DC.